Maverick News. The world is watching. In a universe full of ideas, we draw lightness from the dark to a place where opposites attract. Right meets left, positive touches negative, sparking an explosion of truth. Because politics makes strange bedfellows. I volunteer for the Kennedy 24 campaign, and uh, since this war in the Middle East began, all of us on the campaign have been subjected to this, not only seeing Bobby attacked by people who disagree with him, you know, he supports Israel, people who support Palestine are pretty angry with him right now, but it's more than that. It, there's there's a, a darkness to it, Karen, that honestly disturbs me and makes me pray a lot harder for Bobby's safety along the campaign trail, because there are people out there who wish him harm or worse. And I fear that because as a student of the assassination of his father, I've studied that case for some 40 years, we are in a situation right now that mirrors so much of what was happening in 1968 and the conditions that gave rise to the assassination of his father. You know, there's a war raging in the Middle East. Robert Kennedy Sr. supported Israel. Sirhan Sirhan was from Palestine. Uh, He grew up during the Nakba. He witnessed the bombing of the Damascus Gate. He saw a man disemboweled by a bomb. He watched his brother die. Their whole family was displaced from their home and had to relocate to Jordan, and then eventually came to the United States. He never fully assimilated as an American, never became an American citizen. To this day, he's 79 years old and sitting in prison out there in California. Um, If he ever gets parole, you know, he, he was approved for parole two years ago, but Governor Newsom said no and wouldn't release him, even though Bobby Kennedy was advocating for his release. Um... Regardless of his guilt or his innocence, whether you believe that Sirhan did it or was a mind-controlled patsy, the fact remains that he is a hero in the Middle East, and especially in Palestine. And the Palestinian Liberation Organizations have always looked upon Sirhan as a hero. When he shot at Robert Kennedy, he said, I did it for my country. I love my country. He said many, many times that he was doing it to advance the cause of the Palestinian people. And if he ever gets out, they will deport him because he's not a citizen. They will send him back to either Palestine or Jordan, where he's likely to receive a hero's welcome. These things bother me right now. I I know that Bobby doesn't have Secret Service protection. He's been turned down three times by the Department of Homeland Security. And his father didn't have Secret Service protection either. The murder of his father is the very reason why presidential candidates now get Secret Service protection, except Bobby Kennedy. He's like the one candidate in the whole history of the United States who doesn't have it since 1968. Um, And I worry. I, I worry maybe too much about these things. I don't like to think about them too much because I feel that only gives negative thoughts power. Like you, I try to visualize his safety. Every night when I pray for his safety, I just see this white light of protection around him, around his family. But I worry for the staff. I worry for the volunteers. I worry for the innocent bystanders. You know, it's important to remember that in that kitchen of the Ambassador Hotel that night, five other innocent bystanders were wounded. And some of them were journalists who were just there doing their job and they got hit by a bullet. Thankfully, everyone else survived. But uh, tell me how you deal with that, because as his friend, I know that you obviously must worry for his safety and his family's safety as well. How do you keep your thoughts positive? So I've been in this state for 15 years where nothing bothers me, okay? So I'm really practiced at it. So... I know that when I worry, I'm creating something I won't like when it gets here. 
So I have stopped worrying. I used to be addicted to it and I don't do it anymore. I do the same thing that I was talking about with the Middle East towards Bobby. I picture Bobby and Cheryl in the White House. I picture all of their family and friends and campaign people healthy, happy. I picture them in the White House for eight years. I picture the country healthy. Divide is healed. I picture regenerative farming. I picture more peace. I picture cleaner air, cleaner water, cleaner soil. I picture um, more infrastructure being built, people feeling good about their lives again, people feeling proud to be America, Americans, people feeling like they understand how great America is and how beautiful it is. And I just picture that. And so when people say this thing about worry and stuff like that, I don't even go there. It doesn't, I, I know too much and I feel it so clearly, like my spirit gives me wisdom it's 24 7. so if i were to worry i would be blocking the wisdom of my spirit and i don't want to do that i want to keep that channel open so instead i envision what basically my spirit gives me i said what should i think about with bobby and that's what i got you know so i don't i don't um so it's a practice and the more you do it is that your cat behind you the more you do it. <laughs> My cat likes to jump up here during the show sometimes. Don't be surprised if you see a cat tail. <laughs> nice. I did see a cat tail. <laughs> but um, the more you do it, the more... So we have constant neuroplasticity and neurogenesis. We also have neurons in the heart. We have neurons in the belly. And we have neurons in the brain. All of them are having neurogenesis, which means the birth of new neurons and neuroplasticity, which means neurons changing their connections, their synapses. Every time you learn something new, every time you practice something, you are growing new synaptic connections. You are getting neurogenesis throughout the entirety of your life. There's not a time that it's not happening. So each time you do a practice, and if you lead with your heart in the practice, what I mean by that is, let's say I'm going to Let's say I'm going to write about um, peace. I might put my attention on my heart and I might say something like, peace is, but I'm doing it silently, but so you can hear. And I'll say, you know, it's like I have the th ellipsis after that. Peace is, and then I listen in my heart. It's beautiful. Peace is. tranquil, expansive, joyful, triumphant, celebration, connection, love, honoring. And I'm listening through my heart. So each time I do that, I get a different understanding of what peace is if I do it on peace, let's say every day. And my sense of peace within myself grows. And the more I practice whatever it is, whether it's peace or playfulness or abundance or health, whatever it is, you get more of it. And one of the things I have, a, I have a client, she's really cute. And she said she was tracking when she was up and when she was down. And I said, don't do that. And, and she said, what, what should I do? I said, just track when you're up. Just track when you feel good. Just track when you have health. Just track the good things. And so anytime there's something that's good, I note it. I'm appreciative of it. And it could be, again, something as simple as I wanted to walk from this chair to get my water, and I did. It's an instant manifestation. You know, <laughs> I wanted to be able to be on this podcast and to speak clearly, and I am. I wanted to know you better, and I am getting that, right? So these are simple things that are already happening right now. I don't have to stretch to get to them. They are happening right now, but most people don't, they take it for granted. They won't see it. But if you make it your practice to see it throughout your day, I wanted to get up from this chair, and I did. I wanted to sit down in this chair, and I did. 
I wanted to have a sip of water and I did. If you start to recognize, oh my God, so many things I want are happening all day, every day. And I'm going to wake up to see that. And I'm going to wake up to appreciate it. And my life will change because of that. This has been a Maverick Multimedia Productions.